today I'm flying from Philadelphia to JFK Airport in New York. I've set a flight level of 3,000 feet and let's go ahead and get started. I thought I had set a flight level of 3,000 feet. Let me do that now. Alright, take off the parking brake and we will get started. Perfectly smooth, but that's fine. No damage to anything. Alright, landing gear up. KH421 continue for east departure. I will contact you next when you leave my airspace. Flaps up. Philadelphia Tower KH421 continue for east departure. That allow us to gain some speed. Okay, so we're finally getting some speed. I'm now going to turn into our heading. And then soon I will turn over to autopilot. Okay, so we're approximately on course. Slightly off, that's fine. Go ahead and enable altitude and navigation autopilot. Philadelphia Tower KH421 frequency. Turn on the yaw damper. Philadelphia Approach KH421 is type Beechcraft King Air 2 miles east of Philadelphia. Assign that to a button. I haven't found a way to do that yet. Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace. Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and go outside. I'm going to keep an eye on the airspeed and the throttle because we're leveling off at altitude. Okay, I think I can put the throttle down to the center detail. Give that a shot. Interesting things to look at now. It seems especially high res. I think it's probably still downloading rendering. Looks okay from up here. Really interesting buildings. Kind of want to take the drone and poke around the back in downtown Philadelphia. Looks like the plane is well under control by autopilot, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, I'll disconnect from the plane. We'll check back with it periodically. An interesting ground down here. Not sure what this is supposed to be. I thought it was an athletic kind of thing, but it looks like agricultural fields with interesting, uh, I don't know, roads made out of crop circles. Very strange. Crazy AI. All right, let's go see what it looks like over here. Kind of liking the water. gonna go check on the plane really quick. Make sure everything's okay inside. Yep. I have to 
wait for all these textures to reload into memory. All right, so here we are in downtown. This is interesting. Um, in 4K, you don't really get photogrammetry data. You don't get logos and buildings and things, and so it may not look super recognizable or realistic, but it's still interesting to see what they've got. All the uh, freeway systems and whatnot. See cars doing crazy kind of strange driving things, driving up over the freeway and then hopping down. That's very strange. <laughs> um, why are they driving up over the freeway with no overpass there? That's very strange. And then cars like diving up into the air and things. It's really funny. Oh, it's a flying simulator. It's not a driving or city simulator, I guess. Should be. Wow, this is just a lot of stuff. I'm surprised my graphics card isn't freaking out. Actually, maybe it is. I see a lot of power usage going on. <coughs> That's an awfully big building. I don't know, that an enormous parking structure? What is that? Maybe a convention center or something? Just looks like a big parking structure. Yeah, I kind of wish I knew a little bit more about Philadelphia, but anyway, it's interesting to see it from the AI's point of view. I've been there when I was too young to remember. I'm not sure, for instance, where I would find like the Liberty Bell or anything like that. That's a lot of train tracks that don't seem to do very much once they... interesting. Hmm. And then what is going on here? Uh, cars driving... okay, so there's a building right in the middle of the road, and so the cars have to drive up and over it. That's insane. <laughs> that is absolutely insane. Uh, let's go check on the plane. Speed is good. Heading is good. And all the is good. KH421, you are leaving. My airspace radar service terminated. Squawk 1200. Frequency change approved. Squawk 1200. Frequency change approved. KH421. Okay, we're going to everything to KH421. reload and re-render. It's time to Craft King Air 6 miles north of Tree November Juliet. Okay, so <laughs> We've got cars. Well, in some cases, anyway, driving up the building and down the other side. This is crazy. It's like, it's like watching ants. Wow, that's very strange. Uh, why would there be a building, though, right in the middle of a roadway? Very strange. This looks semi-normal. Well, then again, if you look at what the vehicles are doing, maybe not. Yeah, I think they need to work on their city simulation a little bit better. Looks pretty cool, though. So, I just wish I could see company logos on these buildings, know what they were. That's a really cool view. I love that. It's supposed to be flying, right? Let's go back inside for a moment. I always like to kind of pull back and get this bird's eye view.
inside. Everything looks good in here. Getting some kind of funny shadow action or whatever going on up here. Interesting. Kind of too bad you can't get up and walk back there or carry passengers. What's all the way in the back? I guess that's luggage hold or something, or maybe galley. So we're not too far away. Might as well go back to the drone. We're still reset it back on the plane. Set it back to full speed. I'll leave it connected to the plane this time. Kind of interesting little areas to see here. Really not sure exactly what part of the country we're in. Somewhere between Philadelphia and New Jersey, I guess. I can zoom forward faster than the plane, which is kind of nice. Uh, okay, so we've got a big body of water coming. Marlboro. It sounds like a pack of cigarettes. I guess that's an airport. Let's go check that out. Kind of interesting buildings down here. Hmm. Uh, that's pretty strange. I don't. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't think a building would really look like that. Alright, so not an airport, just a little landing strip. At least it's got Choir some actual um, Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace. KH421 McGuire approach. Cleared through the Bravo airspace. Cleared through Bravo airspace KH421. Alright, looks like we're coming up on some larger buildings here. A little bit of uh, hills and things. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the plane. Okay, so we're close enough to landing that I'm gonna go ahead and take over from autopilot. And slow us down, get us ready to enter into the landing pattern. Don't want to lose too much altitude. We'll need to be around here to get into the landing pattern. But I do need to drop speed. Continuing to drop the throttle down a bit. Not all the way to the bottom. Get that verbal warning about landing gear when you drop it all the way down. Okay, so I think we're slowing down at a reasonable rate. Go ahead, take a look outside for a moment. Heading towards where we could actually put the flaps down if we want. Now outside of our prescribed altitude range, which is fine. I'm 
dropping a little in altitude that's going to compete with my trying to drop in speed, so I do need to try to maybe nose up a little. with the slowdown. My biggest problem so far landing has been not slowing down enough, so I'm trying to really emphasize doing that early. So we're almost at the point where I can put the flaps down. It's that white stripe on the speed ticker tape. I'm going to go ahead and put them down partly. I have to push forward on the stick, but not too much. Alright, let's slow this down significantly. I'm going to bring the throttle back up so we don't lose too much speed. And I was nosing up a little bit too much. We bring our altitude back in line. I don't want to be climbing, so let's just push forward a little bit. I'm going to drop the throttle back. We're a little bit too fast now. Got a little bit too high in the air for what I would like. I'm going to drop the throttle down even more. Alright, so we're going to need to burn off this altitude. I can go ahead and put the flaps down the rest of the way. And the landing gear yeah, that would be good. Landing. Bring the throttle back up. Okay, I'm gonna nose down a bit. I need to burn off a whole bunch of this altitude. Down a bit. Is one, one mile southwest with Sierra to land. Hey, 421 Kennedy Tower. Flight 3 in runway 4 left. Altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 2 wind 239 or 5. Make straight in runway 4 left KH421. 
Alright, there's our landing pattern. Let's go ahead and go get into that. Just a little bit, give ourselves some vertical headroom. Also help us burn off some speed. Slowing down a little bit too much though, so I'm going to throttle up. I do want to climb and maintain a reasonable speed. off because our speed's not where I'd like it to be, but we're at a good enough altitude. So I'll just turn into this once I get there. back on the throttle a little bit because we're going to start dropping an altitude as soon as we get into the pattern. the throttle almost all the way down now, we're still going too Clear fast to, land, runway, four left, K, to burn H, off some of the speed, hover closer to our landing speed. Okay, all the way to the floor now. Let's just see what we can do to come up with a good speed, a good safe speed. Okay, I'm gonna go back and get some thrust. I don't want to lose any more speed. Okay, should be good. Maintaining visual center on the runway as much as possible. Okay, I feel like I could drop throttle just a tad more. throttle a bit because we're still going pretty fast. I'll just put it on the floor and then we'll bring it up as needed. Okay, we're going a little fast so let's give it some more thrust.
back on the floor. Okay, we're gonna need a little bit more. Always kind of a fine tuning sort of situation. I'm gonna get that speed at the right stall point right when you're ready to hit the ground. Okay, so here we are. Let's hover as much as we can before those rear wheels go down. Okay, rear wheels and brakes, front tire. Get ready to turn quickly. But like kind of a rough landing, but I think it was probably okay. Um, I'm going to turn here. Alright, let's pull up here and put the parking brake on. Hey, 421 contact ground on 125 decimal 05. 125 decimal 05 for KH421. And I should put taxi lights on, I suppose. except take a leisurely taxiway through the tarmac. Taxi uh, to an old short runway, four left by a taxiway, Charlie Echo, Charlie Delta, cross really runway three, one right, Delta, Bravo, Delta, Alpha, Alpha, to Kilo, cross runway three, one left, Kilo, Kilo, one, jet low, eight, four. Okay, I assume I have clearance to cross here, but I'm not really sure. Uh, let's see, look to the left. Oh, the Xbox controller turned off, so to the right, look to the left. I think I'm all right. See other things landing in the background there. Okay, turning and uh, differential braking. a lot of anti-aliasing in the background. I think my graphic settings may have reverted again after the last game update, so I'm going to need to check on that. Usually I don't see all this anti-aliasing artifacts going on. It's felt kind of uh, set for low the whole time I've been flying, unfortunately. Still looked okay, but I prefer it to be the best possible quality, especially Anti-aliasing kind of takes me out of the simulation, so I'd like to get rid of that artifacts. So again, not much. 
Not much to do except just uh, leisurely make our way to the parking spot. I think I can see the parking spot over on the right side. Be nice to get a few more automatic voices. It's a little limited. Be nice to get some, you know, like a much wider variety of voices. Okay, I wasn't sure who he was directing that traffic to. I didn't hear my call sign. is teaching me patience. Did I ask for parking at that gate? Maybe I did. I meant to do... Uh, taxi to parking. Maybe it's the same thing. Oh well, anyway. This will be a fine place to park. Further forward, probably. All right, there we go. Perfect. Put the parking brake on, and let's see. Undo some of my switches. Okay, I think that's all good. Shut the engine off. Go through their cool down cycle. Interesting. It would be nice to see more real airline clippers in the game. That's very cool. So this is what the airport looks like from here. I'm going to just go into the drone for a moment. Pop up. Oh, we're way back here. Let's reset to the plane. Kennedy Ground, Brickyard 5, 826, with Sierra ready to taxi IFR. Alright, so this is the airport. Brickyard 5, 826, taxi to and hold short of runway 4 left using taxiway November Charlie Alpha Mike Bronco Kilo Echo Cross runway 31 left Kilo Echo Kilo 4 Kilo Kilo 1. I do Contact wish it looked better on though, one again the anti-aliasing artifacts are killing me here, it's just terrible. I wonder why there are solar panels scattered uh, scattered on the ground. Oh no, those are carts. Uh. Alright, well this airport looks pretty cool. This must be one of the hand-designed ones. Uh, I see traffic conflicting the laws of physics here, but that's typical. And then there's this f funny off-ramp that goes off into grass. Well, it's a nice looking airport. I'll have to come back here sometime when I've got my graphic settings a little higher and can really appreciate it. This, uh, look at that. This is terrible. This anti-aliasing. This is just absolutely awful. Alright, anyway, let me go back in the plane. Uh, let's see, between with the proper sequence of steps, there we go. Alright. That's it, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.
Who's oh, got cars? Well, in some cases anyway, driving up the building and down the other side.